Hello, hello, hello. This is Buona from Buona.tv and today I am going to talk about the Worldwide Developers Conference, which is going to be taking place a couple days from today. Today is June what 7th. It's going to be taking place or starting on June 9th. And if you're interested or going, you're probably already on an airplane or you're getting ready to go because it's right around the corner. Uh, it's a big buzz on the internet because Steve Jobs is performing a keynote. He's going to get up there and do his little thing, and with his you know his black turtleneck and keynote presentation and one more thing type thing. And uh, we as the community we kind of get caught up in it and we start making up stuff and we start coming up with all these wacky and wild rumors of things <laughs> that Apple hasn't even said they're gonna do but uh, you know people find snippets of stuff you know I, I've seen people taking pictures of boats with barges and and packages saying oh Apple received a thousand boxes today what kind of I, I, I don't know it, it's, it's an insane amount of hype um, I get caught up in it myself. I'm gonna be probably I'm gonna be broadcasting not probably I'm gonna be broadcasting most of the day Monday. I took that day off. See, I got caught up too. I'm guilty. You're guilty too. I'm not gonna say you're not guilty. But anyway, the WWDC is gonna be this year. I think it's gonna be centered more. Usually, it's centered more around the uh, the Leopard or the OS 10 operating system and what developers can do, with tools and all that kind of stuff. I think this year is going to be heavily, 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 heavily based on this guy right here, Mr. iPhone. The iPhone is getting a lot of buzz, a lot of traction. A lot of developers have signed up, have gotten the SDK, have gotten their keys, and they're going to be taking part in a big application development rush. It's almost like a gold rush, if you will, because iPhone users are hungry. They're hungry for applications. And developers are going to be able to charge for these applications, so it's like it's kind of a gold rush type deal. Now, the WWDC is sold out. So, this is like, I think, the first or second time ever that it's been sold out completely. So, this iPhone development effort has reached beyond the boundaries of your typical iPhone, or I'm sorry, typical Apple developer. And it has reached a whole new audience, a whole new mobile development world. And I think it's the beginning of something very, very big for Apple. Uh, they're they're going to blow up beyond port proportions right now. But I'm over at MacRumors.com now, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the rumor roundups in case you guys don't know what's possibly going to be announced at the WWDC. Now these are all rumors. None of these have been substantiated by Apple. They're only based on statements Steve Jobs made in the past or accusations or theories of what Apple should do. Not necessarily what Apple is doing. So the first one is obviously the biggest one. It's the 3G iPhone. Now what does the 3G iPhone mean? That means that this is an iPhone that's going to take advantage of the 3G network or the faster network that AT&T has confirmed that they are beefing up. Um, whether they're beefing it up for the iPhone's launch, yeah, that's, that's remain to, that remains to be seen. But the 3G iPhone is the number one thing that people are going to be looking for. Uh, a lot of people were turned off by the, the, the regular iPhone because it used a slower network speed, which we call Edge, which is in between, <laughs> in between like modem speeds and, and DSL, like right in the middle. Um, sometimes <laughs> it gets as slow as modems, but uh, it's faster than your typical modem. 3G speeds, however, are pretty darn fast. I mean they rival cable modems and DSL lines so and they can get really really fast which kind of leads me to the next point is that the next thing a lot of people are looking forward to are features on the iPhone such as video conferencing. Apple never said they were going to put video conferencing on the iPhone. Let me state that first. They never said they were going to do that. They did, however, say that you know they are going to be improving the iPhone. That's something that every company should say. But there've been leaks, quote unquote, leaks of pictures. Even Kevin Rose said that he he got word of a video conferencing iPhone many months ago. Um, that apparently you'll have an iPhone that'll have a camera on both sides of the unit. Let me hold mine up here. Currently, there's a camera in the back, but people are saying they're going to be, there's going to be a camera in the front so that you can have a video conference with someone as if you're looking at your phone. 
which is kind of cool kind of fits into the iChat world because that's what all iChat's all about now video conferencing desktop sharing so video conferencing will be something that could take advantage of this 3G network um, many people have went on record to say that it's only going to be between AT&T subscribers so it's only going to be uh, iPhone users only or you can video conference with anyone over Wi-Fi I mean that's just a theory I, I don't know if that's that's been stated by Apple if it hasn't been stated let me just stop if it hasn't been stated by Apple it's not true it's not true yet so it's all rumor other features GPS is gonna have a GPS chip now this has been people been digging through the firmware files all type types of things to see what chips are being used and GPS is going to be one of those things that's possibly coming now one of the things that is definitely coming is the iTunes App Store which is a store which is going to be a new a new button on here where you can just tap on here and go to the store and buy new applications so that's definitely coming and that's going to be in the form of a new firmware which is going to be downloadable for the iPhone and the iPod touch um, so those are the big iPhone stories that I think are going to possibly happen um, other things they're just going to people are talking about are a dot Mac shut up <laughs> it's a dot Mac replacement dot Mac is Apple's email uh, their service for for your digital life so they're hopefully they'll be revamping that and it's called they, they, people think it's going to be called mobile me or dot me because Apple registered a dot me I don't know what's going on um, obviously they're going to be talking about the next iteration of leopard leopard 10 or uh, I'm sorry Mac OS 10 10.6 um, I don't know what the name's going to be but usually at WWDC you get a sneak peek of the next iteration of what's coming and uh, that's that's pretty much the spiel so as you can see by what I've talked about the primary focus is going to be what's going to happen where are going to be the details behind this new iPhone if a new iPhone is coming out nobody even said a new iPhone is coming out people are assuming the only thing that has been promised is the iTunes App Store and uh, a new firmware everything else is speculation so if this new iPhone comes out people are going to be wondering you know what's the battery life what's you know what's going to be happening with the uh, you know the older iPhones are they going to be compatible are the old iPod touches going to be compatible is Apple going to pull an Apple and say hey you got to get one of these new ones to have this particular feature uh, you know the GPS they probably might have some cool GPS stuff in Google Maps so, oh if you got an old iPhone you can't use it that kind of stuff you know those are going to be the details a lot of people are going to be talking about me, I'm going to be streaming live at live.born.tv TV during the keynote. I'm also going to try to get on friendfeed.com. There's a couple of rooms there that I have developed. One is called, I think, Steve Note. And I put out a blog post for all the bigger websites to create rooms as well. I don't know if they're going to take that call. Ryan Blockett and Gadget say he'd look at it. So uh, we'll see. Because friendfeed is a great place to harness discussions and, you know, it's real easy to use for that. Um, but I'll see you guys on Monday and we're gonna we're gonna be tearing apart whatever Apple announces. We're gonna be discussing that live at live.buana.tv and I'll see you in the chat room then. Alright, this is Buana from Buana.tv. See you at WWDC. But not I won't be at WWDC, but I'll see you during W W. I need more coffee. Bye.